This is happiness to be everything at once. Be unblinded, be unlearned, be unbridled and unburned. Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Mood Prep. My name is Dave Nixon. Uh, and today I'm going to speak about, or speak around, speak to, um, something that I remember reading uh, in, in the book, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, now, I read that book by Napoleon Hill. Um, uh, I was 19. And it left quite a profound um, mark on me, and it has in many ways. I had, I had one of the guys on here. On amusings, um, Mr. James Whitaker, uh, a little while ago, who's um, who's actually written the book The Legacy um, on Think and Grow Rich and the movie as well, but by the same title. But but um, the um, the book, like, what it really allowed me for the first time ever at that stage in my life, I remember sitting back and being like, "Fuck, I, I'm a, I'm allowed to think whatever I want. Like I'm allowed to think anything." Up until that point, I'd always just sort of like. Yeah, I might have been a little bit rebellious here and there, but I really just was guided by the the caretakers or, you know, authority figures in my life. And that was the first time in my life. I remember I was sitting reading on my bed and I sat back and I'm like, so I'm just allowed to think anything? And fucking that kick-started something, didn't it? Hey, <laughs> really did. But there was something else in that book that stood out to me, um, which is very interesting. And I, I, I don't think it's true in its absolute truism. I think it's um, I think it's beautiful in the concept, and I'll exp- expand on that in just a moment. But it said that no man is great until he's 40, or uh, uh, until after 40, right? And for many reasons. But the, the real key around that was this idea that it will take a long time for us to build our life. And although I don't think it has to particularly wait till after 40 for us to reach a particular point where we're building our life, uh, a lot of the time that's where a lot of men will mature, um, you know, many studies, but also um, it's often said that females are almost encouraged to mature earlier um, because of biological factors and many other. But the thing with, you know, this conversation being brought across men and women, the whole point here being is not necessarily the age or the biological factors in maturing, what I'm I'm pointing at within this um, within this point is that it takes time to build our life. Now, at some point, as we're like laying a brick a day, we lay a brick a day, we lay a brick a day, and we're building, building, literally building our life. There comes a point where we realise that the life is in the building, not in the completion of the job. Life doesn't get built. It's a continual building, and that's the point of, of you know maturity. Because at that point, we get to be able to actually start to enjoy the process. And this is why a lot of sp- <laughs> like a lot of spiritual um, retreats, they'll get you to like clean for like many out the house many hours a day until you start to just do be in the cleaning. You start to enjoy the cleaning because it's just a, a process of service that you're you're actually in the moment doing, and you can start enjoying it because you're just enjoying life. And so the interesting thing about this is that although there's times where we may falter from this idea of going, I'm meant to be somewhere, you know, I'm I'm meant to have it all figured out, people are judging me, people are watching me, look what that person has, look what that person has, especially around this time of year, it's like you're focusing on the wrong things, the the things that, that, you know, that may be more beneficial for you to focus on may be going... You know, where am I at with with my home life? Is there things there that I could improve on? Am I spending too much time trying to impress people on social media who don't even like themselves? And that sounds, you know, maybe a little bit rough, but fuck, I I, I can say I've been there before, 100%. And so these are some more, you know, questions that are going to yield significantly better answers about how we're going to build our life and go through the process of building our life because at some point for most people listening to this podcast as you build your life there's going to be little people watching you build your life and they're going to figure out how to try and build their life of how you built yours and if you're complaining and just you know saying how hard it is when you're laying a brick a day 
right? And you're just sitting there and you're like, this is, you know, life's tough and, you know, you got to try and get what you get and dog eat dog world and all this sort of stuff. It's like, think about what legacy you're leaving the world, not legacy based upon your name, not legacy to this. It's like you're gifting the people that are observing you the same jail sentence that you're in. And it doesn't mean that, yeah, and I hear this a lot, they're like, yeah, you know, positive self-talk. It's like, no, it's not about positive self-talk. It's not about negative self-talk, right? It's about the, the frames behind that that govern the behaviors and the self-talk, right? And a, lot, a lot of people's self-talk isn't even them. It's just their fucking parents or, or an, an old teacher or an old sporting coach laid with their own voice, right? You're not good enough, you know? I'll never make it. It's just, it's the things that their parents have said to themselves that they heard that they then picked up and now they're just layering it themselves. It's like, this is literally a meme. It is literally a meme, which is a thought that is passed from generation to generation. That's where the term meme came from. And so we have this opportunity between now and 2019. And I say that because, well... At the start of every year, we have an opportunity to have a look at what we're going to do over the next 12 months. Some people bag on it. Some people praise it. Some people do all sorts of things. And it's just like, look, if you have an opportunity over this holiday season to sit down, review the last 12 months, and then review the next 12 months of what it is that you want to move towards, why not? Why not do that? It's not about a new year, new me. It's, it's just the same fucking day. Like, it's, a, it's the same brick. Lay it. Lay the brick. Fall in love with the process over time because you're not building something for someone else. You're building your life. Every single day, you're building the story of your life. And you've got to look in that and go, what am I willing to do? Like, I'm literally, when you buy things, and this is an important distinction, when you buy things, you're literally buying it with hours of your life, right? You go, well, this took me X amount of years to earn this amount of money or X amount of hours or whatever, I'm going to buy it with that, right? That's one way to think about it. But the thing about with every single day is that a lot of people will will set these targets for off in the future. I'll be this when, I'll do that when, and I can't wait for this and all that sort of stuff. It's like, what are you doing? Are you living in between now and then? And living doesn't necessarily mean a pina colada at the beach while your, you know, your your waiter comes over for you and waits on your hands. That's not living. Living is service. Living is giving. Living is being there. It's being a rock for yourself and then for anyone else. Right? It's being a leader first of yourself, then of your home, then of your community. That's living. And we have that opportunity every single day. The question is, do we take it up? The question is, do we talk our way out of it? Because if there's shit there that's hard that we've been avoiding, then it's like, well... At what point are we just going to stop letting our past bully us into into playing small in the future? And that's a question you have to answer. I have got no answers for you. And so looking forward to 2019, it's like, what is it that I'm willing to trade my life for? And it doesn't mean you have to change your job or change your relationship. It means you may have to change you. It means you may have to face some difficult things. But the reality of life is that there's always going to be difficult things. And the most difficult things are the ones that we avoid because they fester, they grow, they become the dragon. We had a chance to face the dragon when it was small and little and challenging and dark. And we ignored it. And when we ignore it, it grows. So the dragon actually grows the more we ignore it, the bigger it gets. And in our mind, the scarier it gets. And we put it off to the end. But the dragon's going to come and ruin your home. So as 2019 rolls around, I encourage you. Lay a brick and face the dragon. The more challenges you step towards in 2019 will set you off for 2020. Which will set you off for 2021. And maybe it won't financially. Maybe there's going to be some difficult times financially. But it's your character that we're building here. The character that plays the play. Team, I'm out. (laughs) Uh, If you found this podcast beneficial, it'll mean the world to me. If you'd pass it on to someone else that you think would also find it beneficial. If you have any questions, jump on Facebook, go to Mood Prep Online, continue the conversation there. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, until tomorrow, peace and pizza, kick today in the dick, slay the dragon. I'll see you soon.
be unblinded beyond